hear people talking all, all around. So that's me. Anyway, um, all right. Uh, this is the time where I just hang out and I wait for the phone to ring, and eventually it does because I see calls from the great beyond. Somebody famous must be calling. Let's get it. Hello, welcome to the jungle. This is Sean Sheldrake, the king of the jungle. Who am I speaking to? Yeah, oh, hello. This here is uh, Colonel Harlan Sanders. I'm sorry, did you say Colonel Harlan Sanders? Would that be the same Colonel Sanders yeah. of Kentucky Fried Chicken fame? Yes, one in the same, boy. One in the same. Well, now, this is exciting. You are my very first famous restaurateur well, to call you. the uh, celebrity hotline. I'm so glad that you called. Uh, uh, what? Uh, how are things in the great beyond for you, Colonel? <laughs> Well, now, I'll tell you, it, 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 right here on the Great Beyond is every bit of what I expected it to be. Awesome. You know, Colonel, would you mind doing an interview with me? I, I've got a lot of questions I'd love to ask you, and we're doing a radio show right now. Would you be interested in doing that with me? Well, well now, no, I don't mind at all. Now, okay. you should be aware that I have absolutely no vested interest in the Kentucky Fried Chicken chain. I sold oh. that back in the 70s, okay. and it kept me on as a spokesman, but I, I really don't care what what goes on down there no more because they don't do things my way see i see i see now when you say they don't do things your way are you are you talking about the recipes did they change your no, 11 herbs no. and spice your original recipe no 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 they can't change that recipe oh, i set okay. that up airtight you see what i did is i had them mix up half the spices in one area and the other half of the spices in the other area. And then when they get together, they mix those together. And nobody knows what all the spices are except me. The real recipe is locked up in a bank somewhere. So now you're telling me that not even like the CEOs of the company know what the true recipe is? is that, that is right? correct. That is correct. Nobody inside the company knows the true recipe I got two separate companies that mix up the spices. I see. And they don't know who each other is either. So. Uh -huh. It's a true secret, you see. I see. So I don't suppose there's any chance you might divulge some of that secret to us here today. Oh, hell, I don't care no more. I'm happy to give you the recipe. Oh. You got a pencil? <laughs> yeah, I got a pen right here and a piece of paper. All right, then. Uh, wait a minute. All right, I'm ready to write. Shoot. All right, then. Well, the, the recipe for my original recipe, my finger-licking good recipe, goes right. like this. You got... You got your pencil? Yeah, I'm ready. You're going to write down two tablespoons of paprika. Okay. One tablespoon of onion salt. Got it. It's going to take one, tea one teaspoon of rubbed sage. Now, I got this all in my memory. It's been so long. Sage. Uh -huh. One teaspoon of garlic powder. Garlic powder. You're going to need one teaspoon of ground allspice. Now, this is good for one chicken, remind you. I, I'm not making a whole batch for the bucket. You I know what I'm saying. I got you, yeah. You're going to need one teaspoon of ground oregano. Okay. One teaspoon of the chili powder. Got it. Don't forget to add a teaspoon of black pepper. Of course. Now, I got two more secret ingredients, you well, see. Okay, what would that be? One of them, you need yourself. One teaspoon of depleted plutonium. What? What? Plutonium? And Where am I the get other that? one... It's going to be one teaspoon finely crushed, uh -huh. fresh dried uh -huh. cannabis sativa. Cannabis sativa. That's pot. Th that's that, weed, marijuana, right? Yes, that is correct. Or, or, <laughs> well, now, you don't think I'd have wore this crazy old tie and carry it on like I have with this goatee with a straight, sober mind for 60 <laughs> years now, do you? Are you to now, tell give me a break, boy. <laughs> You're trying to tell me that cannabis sativa is one of the 11 essential herbs and spices? Well, now, you see, that's where we play the trick on you, because uh -huh. really it's only 10 <laughs> herbs and spices, because uh, salt is a mineral. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. Oh, 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 oh I so, love that one. <laughs> <laughs> so this, all these years I've been eating chicken, I've been having cannabis sativa snuck that into the That is correct. And it explains everything perfectly, because I love the coleslaw of course. and the mashed potatoes and gravy, that and has crack. It, it was all the this unnatural attraction. I could never explain why I loved it so much, but now it all makes perfect sense. Thank you for sharing that with us, Colonel. It is my pleasure, and I hope you can spread the word and I'm put sure. those greedy monsters out of business. You know, there's a new Kentucky Fried Chicken open up every day in the country of China. Is that They're right? They're just cashing in on my recipe, and I sold the whole rights to the thing in the 70s and now for a mere $2 million, wow. and now it's worth close to a billion dollars. I believe it. And I hope they crash and burn. Now, you know they put crack in the potatoes, what? right? What? <laughs> crack in the potatoes? Sure. <laughs> 
No, I didn't know that, Colonel. <laughs> oh, sure. They've been doing that for years. Why do you think you keep going back now? They know what they're doing. Ain't that right, Flash? <laughs> wait, wait, did you just say Flash? You, yes, sir. You got a dog named Flash? Yes, sir. I got me an old hound dog, just like the one on that old <laughs> show, uh, Dukes of Hazard. Love Remember that old show. Roscoe P. Coltrane had himself a hound dog? Right. I always wanted me one, and now I got me one. Oh, that is priceless. I love yeah. that. So tell me, Colonel, now that you're uh, you're in the great beyond, 65 yes. years of restaurant behind you, yes. uh, do you still enjoy a good bucket of fried chicken up there? Oh, hell no. I don't touch the stuff. <laughs> I haven't touched it for years. It's nasty. It's bad for you. Clog your arteries up. I tell you, the only meat I eat nowadays is strictly exotic meat. You know what I'm saying? Exotic meat? No, I'm not quite sure. What do you mean by exotic well, meat? Well, now Colonel? I'm... I'm talking about alligator meat, wow, kangaroo really? meat, yeah. wombat meat. Wombat? Uh, 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 what do they call them little uh, bush, 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 m the monkeys, the, the, the yeah. little one with the big eyes. The bush bunnies the little. Oh, yeah. I love those tender. Oh, they're so good. Really? Now, I, that's interesting. Yeah. What, what would they taste like? Well, they taste like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Is that so funny to you, boy? <laughs> <laughs> that is priceless. Well... Look, Colonel, I want to thank you for coming on my program. Well, what a certainly. pleasure it's been having you on. Thank you so much for, for being a part of the show, and I hope to talk to you real soon. You take good care of yourself, all right, Colonel? All right, boy, and I want to thank you for having me on your show. Now, I see that Frank Perdue over there, and I got I got a word or two for him. We've been competing for years. I need to go talk to him. So you take care of yourself, and I, I'll talk to you later now. Bye-bye, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Colonel Harlan Sanders on my show. Now that's a celebrity. I think I gotta go get me a bucket of chicken right now. I can't wait. I, I got ten minutes left of my show. I'm gonna go get some chicken right after this.